Hello, my awesome accounting students. I hope this finds you ready to tackle another chapter of accounting. Today, we're going to work on chapter three, which is on the topic of using T accounts to analyze transactions. In the previous chapter, we took a look at using columns and we recorded transactions under the specific column under the expanded financial accounting equation. Well, as you saw, those were pretty messy and they don't work too well in real life. So this chapter is about a transitioning tool called T accounts. We will spend some time talking about T accounts and the rules of debits and credits. Instead of columns, we will be using something called accounts, which are used to help record and classify transactions. For each one of these accounts, we'll decide where it falls under the expanded accounting equation. Just a brief reminder, assets or things of value are on the left-hand side of the equation and liabilities or debts that we owe, along with equity representing the owner's worth, fall on the right-hand side of the equation. And as always, the sum of the left-hand side has to equal the sum of the right-hand side. As we mentioned, the columns were fine for learning how the accounting equation works. But again, they're messy and not very practical in a business environment. Instead, we're going to transition over to something called T accounts. Before doing that, let's focus on the first three transactions. As a reminder, the first transaction in the startup of any business will be the initial investment by the owner. The other two transactions deal with the purchase of equipment. Let's take a look at these three transactions in more detail. Before moving on, let's talk about T accounts. T accounts get their name because every account will have a related T associated with it. T accounts are learning tools that will help us transition from those messy columns in the last chapter to the real live accounting documents that we will learn about in the next chapter. Again, they are transitionary tools and it will be imperative that we learn the five rules that we're about to study. Every account that we learned about in a column or format will be replaced by an individual T. The name of the account goes directly above the T. We will be learning several rules for T accounts. The word debit means left and the word credit means right. Since there are five types of accounts, we will be learning five rules of debit and credit that will lead us to success in learning about how transactions are recorded in real life. The first type of account in the fundamental accounting equation is assets. All assets are increased with the debit and decreased with the credit. For all five of these rules, debits have to equal credits every single time. There'll never be an exception to this. So once again, assets are increased by debits and decreased by credits. Since liabilities fall on the other side of the equation, their rule is the opposite of assets. That is, all liability accounts are increased with credits and decreased by debits. Again, because it falls on the other side of the equation, this rule is the opposite rule from the assets. Similar to liabilities, because equity falls on the other side of the equation, 
it has the same rules as liabilities. That is, increases to equity accounts are on the credit side and decreases are on the debit side. And of course, debits have to equal the credits always. Now let's take a look at the expanded equity umbrella. Recall that capital investments made the equity umbrella go up and revenues made the equity umbrella go up. But expenses caused the equity umbrella to go down. So they are the opposite of the other two accounts under the equity umbrella. Expenses are always debited Expenses can only go one way, which is up. So once again, always debit expenses. So let's review. Assets are increased with debits and decreased with credits. Liabilities, capital, and revenue, because they all fall on the other side of the equation, are exactly the opposite. Liabilities are increased with credits and decreased with debits. And capital is increased with credits and decreased with debits. And revenue is increased with credits and decreased with debits. On the other hand, expenses make the equity umbrella go down. So expenses are always debited. The one exception to this rule is the drawing account, which is the account we use when the owner takes money out of the firm for his personal use. The drawing is a contra equity account. This means it looks contrary to the other equity accounts. Drawing is always increased with a debit.